Aha. Thanks to baby. Oh, hi, everybody. How you doing? I was just singing in the background. No, no comment about that. Whatever. Anyways, um, hi, welcome in. Good to see everybody again. No, I'm sorry. Anybody that, that missed the intro to that, I swear to God, Gambit, if you highlight that, by the way, you're so dead. Uh, but if you highlight the, uh, yeah, don't, don't, don't pay attention. That was the second try on the intro. Enough said. VLC player kind of hosed me over there, so... <laughs> Nonetheless, figured I'd, uh, I'd give you a little bit of a, uh, a joke start to that one for anybody that was here for that one live. So, nonetheless, like I said, we got another race here, our last one of the evening. Morning, depending on what time of day it is for you. But on the left-hand side, we got Tornus, your Denver Broncos representative. Again, no, he does not live in Denver. I know he lives in Latvia. He's just representing that team schedule-wise. That's all that matters for this. He's going to be taken on. On the right side, Mr. Awaken Smoke, your New England Patriots rep. So again, think about this. Week 12 of the NFL, we got Denver versus New England. Brady versus Manning again. <laughs> That's going to get good. And this one's going to be good, too. We got our one of our returning uh, uh, playoff contestants, excuse me, from last year in Awaken Smoke. And one of our new, very talented... Oh, God, it's that mouse! Ah! <laughs> we have the mouse! <laughs> Oh, well, okay, well, it's been said already. I love the hat, by the way. I seriously love that hat on Awaken Smoke. But as you see, oh my god, there's a mouse. And uh, if you see by the uh, the split link, I say the tortoise is known as he who fires with his mouth or shoots from the mouth. I mis or I mis said that the other day and kind of said that he fires with his mouth instead of his mouse. So for those that are wondering, yes, he does actually fire with his mouse. He just hit it there. That's an ongoing joke between us, though. <laughs> Gotta love when that happens. Again, these two are on a call together. We're going to do a best two out of three race with Isaac through the womb, too. So we'll kill off Mom's heart. Whoever does that first is going to get a point added to the bottom of the screen where you see those zeros. And again, we'll reset both racers at that point, starting from scratch. On the way down, seven items they're not allowed to pick up. Wow, it doesn't let me do that again. Are you serious? We have to make that a little bit shorter, apparently. There's seven banned items. I would show them to you in chat, but it's going to take about a minute or two here. Hold on a second. Uh, there... God, that gift. That'll distract everybody. Hold on. How is that still on? Okay. Now let me try this. Boom. All right. Seven outlawed items on the way down. Sorry, the chat was messing with me there momentarily. Uh, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, Holy Bible, Toothpicks, and The Shovel. We'll get to reasons why on all of them when it actually uh, comes time. But again, they're on a call. They'll do their own uh, countdown. There you see a way you can actually look it over. We're ready anytime, by the way, so feel free, guys. But yeah, they're going to do their own countdown. They'll start the race whenever they're ready. We'll race through the womb, too, like I said, in the best two out of three. Those items can't be taken. Only ones that you can re-roll with, the, uh, the D6. Other than that, D6 is also outlawed. Uh, pretty much all glitching on the way down is outlawed. Again, they know pretty much what's available. I'll explain anything when we come across it, uh, exactly what's going on, why it's legal, or why some certain things are not, should we see them. But again, good luck to both guys. Looks like they're just about ready to get going. And again, there may be a little bit of a delay on my side. Just depends on, uh, again, Tornus lives a little bit of a ways away from me. Waken isn't exactly close either. But never mind, there is zero delay between the two, so good luck to you both. We got Ghost Baby on the left side for Tornus. Follower with base damage tiers, which also have a... Uh, oh, good, just as the cops leave. Great. Anyways, uh, sorry, ongoing thing outside. Uh, but again, it has a spectral tier ability, so it'll be able to shoot through rocks for him. We can pick up Mom's Bra, which is going to give him uh, a time where after he uses that, every enemy in the room is frozen. Oh, you guys are fine, don't worry. <laughs> You guys are fine. Don't worry about what's going on outside for me. That's downstairs, too, so... Just two people being idiots. Cops will be back for them. They showed up in, like, five seconds last time, and I didn't even call, so... They'll be back. Oh, they'll be back. <laughs> well, welcome in, Mr. Bone. How you doing? Same goes for everybody. Good to see you guys. What's up, Gamma Squad? Good to see you. Depends how much Kamikaze glitch you mean. Oh, and by the way, we have double famines, one of which being champion. Real quick before I get to the explanation on Kamikaze, let's all say... <sighs> because we have two famines, so we gotta do it twice, right? It's only fair. 
But again, he's nice enough to say it to us. Let's do that for him. Ooh, we can smoke using that perfectly timed mom's bra to not get hit by famine there. Wow. You could not have gotten closer on that. That was great. But again, both will get a cube of meat that will orbit around, blocking shots, damaging anything they walk it into. Both will be down to their basement twos as well. Again, going back to what I was saying. Why we do allow the kamikaze glitch. It's a little bit of a risk for the racers. So if they pick up kamikaze, you can hug the wall with it and take no damage. Again, though, uh, if you're intentionally trying to open up secret rooms and super secret rooms, that's going too far. Same thing, if you're intentionally opening up the doors, you have like a one uh, pixel width that you can actually open up the doors for free without taking damage. Uh, that's not allowed, but if you're just going to hug the wall and, you know, go for it from there, have at it. Basically, that's all risky. We've had two racers, I think, total this year. I keep questioning that, but it's only two. Uh, two racers this year total that have actually lived through an entire race holding on to Kamikaze. So if it's a risk to the racers as a glitch, we allow it to happen. Uh, if it just flat out gives them benefit, not going to be a, uh, a go in here. Basically what it amounts to. No, I don't have a lot of remixes because I don't have rights to play them. I'm an audio engineer, so if I don't get flat out rights from the artists themselves, I don't play the music. See Isaac's fork for uh, Tornus on the left side. Going to give him, every time he gets a kill, a random chance that that will heal him for half a heart. But basically what I'm doing for the uh, the audio, for anybody curious, is I play the uh, Binding of Isaac soundtrack that I bought along with the game. Uh, and again, if you want a link to it, let me give you a link to Danny uh, Baranowski's website. Give that man your direct support because he freaking deserves it. He's made all this music except that last song was remixed by Big Giant Circles. Other than that, though, all this music is Danny Baranowski's and I, come on, for as cheap as this is, uh, you get like 60 tracks. It's insane. And it's so good. I've played it for 12 straight weeks. That's 13, or three straight months. And I'm still, I'm getting a little tired of it for having doing it like 12 straight hours, but you get the idea. Like, it's, I'm still listening to it day after day. How's it been, sir? How you doing? Ian. Wow, why can I not say Ian today? Jesus. Heard myself say that like that wasn't even close. Anyways, awaken into his second item room. Gonna pick up Odd Mushroom, damage up, and health up on that. You see his head also grows in size. So a little bit of a, maybe you get hit more often if you walk into shots type of thing. Not that big of a deal, though. And uh, Wooden Spoon, a little bit of speed up for uh, Tornus. He's also going to take in his Devil Deal the mark. So two red hearts go away. He gets one blue soul heart back and also some damage up off of that. So good find there. Again, he also got Eve's Dead Bird on that last floor. If and when he gets hit, like in that boss fight, chance that Eve's Bird shows up to damage anything. Waking going to grab some health and a God Room with the Scapular in it. So if he gets down to half a red heart, that will spawn one blue soul heart for him once per room when that occurs. Oops. I think somebody got missed shot there. Hold on, White Wing. White Wing. Sorry, I can't say your name right. I think you got missed click there. Hold on. <laughs> all right, you should be all good, White Wing. All right, cool, cool. Just making sure that we got you back there all clear. That was just a misfire. All right, so again, both now on Caves 1. Again, Awaken Smoke looking at his boss fight and his store, for that matter. Not quite enough money to worry about that yet. But uh, we'll call this pretty even. Tortoise just looking for a key to get into his item room. Awaken going to wait on going into that boss room until he finds his uh, item. So it'll be a second on both sides till we see some action here. Well, technically it won't. I won't be able one second. Huh, there's enemies. Action. You knew what I meant. Met the important rooms. Yeah, Tornus with another decision. He's got a library there as well for two books. Problem is, no keys across this floor, so... Oh, and that's trolling, game. When the... Okay, if you guys didn't see that on Tornus' side, he laid that bomb perfectly fine where it was. It's just the game trolls you sometimes, and it decides, uh, yeah, we're not going to put that brick across the way, so you don't get to walk across. That was evil. So no money pickup there on Tornus' side, and one bomb wasted. No way to get into it now. So that's just, that's Flash being evil. Even Edmund said so when he was on call. He said he had no idea why that happens. And he's sorry it does, but it ticks him off too. Nothing you can do about it, though. Again, Tornus ripping through Fistula. Wow, that could probably get misquoted in uh, wrong circles. A little bit of health up for him, so he's up to two red hearts again. And again, no key. He'll leave behind that item room and library, so ouch. Lack of key is already starting to hurt Tornus. Not necessarily. He could still be just fine. 
Yo, these guys don't mess around. Believe you me, like, none of our racers mess around. They won't dilly-dally. Like, they know it's a race, and they know that their opponent isn't messing around either, so they're taking it real seriously. All of our racers are this year. It's awesome to see. We're having a ton of fun with it, but we're still taking it seriously, too, so... And that's the whole point, is we're playing video games. You're supposed to do this to have fun. And, you know, like, if it ever gets to the point where it's not fun, don't do it. So, I mean, we're always in this just to have a good old time, but we're also taking it seriously, too. So it's that nice little trade-off here, and I love that. Yeah, something about... Well, never mind. We'll just leave that one be. All right, one extra bomb. A couple coins. There, Awaken not going to bother with the other one. Again, in a race situation, you're probably wondering, like, why would Awaken leave that behind? He just got ten bombs, by the way, in his item room. I'll mention that, too. Uh, but again, eh, it's not necessarily needed all the time. You're not always going to go into your stores, like you see. Again, Blue Baby Soul, you notice, is leading around Ghost Baby on Tornus' side. It'll do that. It'll fire out in that same direction that you're firing and also fi uh, take the next three followers that you have and make them do the same. That's not the bloat, actually. That's, uh, um, why can I not think of this name? Peep. Wow. Bloat's the one that uh, looks almost exactly the same, mind you. Uh, the eyeballs look a little bit different on them. Like, you actually ripped out, like big, freaked out, like, tripping eyeballs, for lack of a better term. Sorry for the, you know, the reference there, but I think you get the idea. Um, but, uh, Bloat also has the, uh, double brimstone side to side and, uh, bottom ways. So that's how you know the difference. Yeah, I couldn't think of his name. I had a stupid moment. <laughs> it happens. I've been on for 12 hours tonight, guys. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, so Awaken with that mom's bra. We'll pause everything in place. He's got the one other enemy he can kill here. We got a real nice health build on his side. Torn is still just chilling with those two red hearts here. Yeah, uh-oh. Double caves, too. And there's a store. Well, nobody's got enough money. We're probably not going to worry about the stores, honestly. Waking can't even get in. He doesn't have a key yet. And Tortoise does have a key, but he's looking for his item room first and nowhere near enough money to worry about buying anything. So unless somebody wants money, then they may go check the store. Other than that, we're probably not going to find out, honestly. Yeah, two red hearts, all you need. Because <laughs> all you need is love. Get it? Uh, two hearts. Ah, uh, see what I did there? I'm corny. What can I say? I'm sorry, but I'm corny. I'm an old fashioned cornball. Deal with it. <laughs> see, there's that item room for Tornus again, down to just half a heart here. Gotta worry about dodging all that quote unquote bullet hell. I don't really want to call that bullet hell. It's definitely not. I played Ikaruka. That is not bullet hell. Ikaruga is bullet hell. Alright, $3 bill. Random shot effects every room now that Tornus goes into. And again, still just this half a heart here. Yep, pills can be good too. Yeah, pills are random every single run. And again, for both racers. Ooh, do you take the challenge room and the time? Kind of have to for the health. So Tornus is going to go through a couple of mini bosses here. But again, well worth it. He's got that one extra health up now. He's got three red heart containers. Yeah, no, totally true, Jeff. Totally, totally, totally true. No, there are plenty of bullet hell games that I didn't even come close to mentioning, and there's a lot that are, but yeah, it's... <laughs> Tyrion. Uh, hmm, don't think I know that one. Yeah, the My Reflection effect for Tornus. Thankfully, he doesn't have that hard of boss fights, to, or many boss fights in this case, to take out, but you see the My Reflection is a random effect on that $3 bill for him. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, the racers are talking to each other. What's up, bud? How you doing? Pleasure to meet you. And give me a second here to give you a link into both of their channels the easy way. There you go. Spazbot's got that catguard.net link, uh, which apparently is 76. I don't know why it's doing those numbers. That's really weird. Mood point, though. Uh, they're actually talking to each other. They may not say much while they're on call together, but they definitely are on call. They could always, you know, like, uh, hey, where you at? Uh, Caves 2. You know, that type of thing. They're actually talking to each other, though. And again, since you're new, let me explain real quick again. We do a best two out of three race through the womb, too. Uh, Stars guard real quick on Awaken Smoke's side. Took him directly, teleported into his item room. So Book of Belial is going to replace... Wow, look at this. Itaku porting is back, ladies and gents. But it's, uh, again, going to be a time and a half damage multiplier. He's got Pestilence for his boss fight. That'll give him a second cube of meat. So the second horseman, second cube of meat. That'll make Meat Boy's head floating around him. 
So more damage output now, along with the same shot blocking capability. But again, as we call it Ataku porting, one of our racers likes to teleport quite a bit, Ataku. Whoa, all those shots by Pestilence. Yeah, that always causes lag. <laughs> Every time. That does it on my computer, too. Never fails. Pestilence is such a douche with that to flash. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, though. Tornus also ripping through Gertie, by the way. So they're both... Eh, we'll call Tornus in the advantage at the moment, actually. He's got more health gone. I didn't even notice. So slight advantage his side. A uh, little bit of health up and shot speed increase. So his fourth red heart. He'll be moving on down to the depth. Slightly ahead of Awaken Smoke. There's that second cube. Uh, again, uh, where was I leading with this thought? Um, I left off halfway through a sentence beforehand. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, we do a best two out of three race through the womb, too, though. Uh, seven banned items. You see them all listed out in chat. Uh, again, I was talking about Ataku porting, which I just saw up in chat, which, again, he loves teleporting. Awaken Smoke did that into his item room. He knew where he was going there, but immediately walked outside and found his boss fight attached, so that made his <laughs> floor a lot quicker for him. Torn is going to pass up on Guppy's tail. I can't say I blame him. A little bit late in the race to start taking Guppy items, and that would be a lot more locked chest to spawn for him. I mind you, he did get a key out of there, but eh, not so worth it. I actually like the idea, Ghost. I really do. Um, from everything I've seen, like it looks pretty cool. Now, mind you, the one I saw was with a huge grid on it that won't exist uh, when it actually comes out, but you get the idea. Like You can totally understand what's going to happen with it. I think it looks awesome. And again, like I always say, like if, if um, uh, what am I trying to say? Like the artists behind the game, and I do call them artists, not just the game developer. They're artists. They really are. Uh, if the artist behind the game wants to make a game a certain way and make it look, you know, exactly like they want it to, rock on. Do it. That's my opinion every time. Yeah, Ataku, there you go, is the person that likes teleporting so much. <laughs> Probably heard me talking about him. Sorry. Anyways, book us in random uh, one item every time that that, that is used by Tornus. Excuse me. So that could either be he bomb. Uh, I think you can actually spawn cards too. Uh, but also coin would be another choice there. Again, great bomb placement. That's the easy way to take those rooms out real quickly. And again, every 13 kills, or uh, excuse me, randomly, you get a uh, chance that you heal up with Isaac's uh, fork, if I'm not mistaken. Vampire, uh, Charm of the Vampire would be the 13 kills. Yeah, see, he just teleported in. Taco loves teleporting. Ooh, that dodging by Tornus. Wow, very nice. I didn't think he'd get out of the way of the... Uh, then again, he's got plenty of speed, I guess. Yeah, he really does have plenty of speed. Very nice. Actually drew one of the greed heads over into that uh, spike trap. Very nice move. And again, awaken over to second to last item room here already. Again, Tornus already found his. Again, both technically on the same floor. I should point out that Tornus has a Necropolis version, which is the expansion version of the Depths floor that Awaken is on. So they are technically on the same floor. See, five more bombs and blast radius increase. Uh, I like to say damage increase, too. I'm pretty sure that does up it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that does up your damage on him. I keep forgetting to check that. I think Vendor checked that for me, and I forgot your answer. Either way, Awaken Smoke again immediately over to a boss room after an item room. Again, Tornus just at that half a heart here, making sure he gets this room taken care of. All right, Awaken Plenty of Hearts going to head on in. And we got War, so third possible cube of meat. Does he take Meat Boy? We'll find out. I don't think Awaken's going to wind up taking that. There's Time and a Half Damage Multiplier on his Book of Belial. And now War will start taking Time and a Half Damage. Yeah, we had Champion Mask all, uh, once. We had Regular Mask once. I think that's it today. Well, that's it. You know what I mean. Impossible for me. I don't do graphics, guys. What's on the, the UI is what's there. I'm not updating the graphics every week, too, because I don't know how. And I'm not going through that effort. If you want to know what they are, just hit up uh, boiler.org. It's written on the front page. All right, Halo in that god room. Awaken gets plus one to all of his stats again. So even one more health up, one more damage up, one more fire rate, range, and uh, actually it's missing range, I think, and you do get speed increase. So he did take that third cube of meat, so no more orbital around Awaken Smoke. He does have Meat Boy running around now, so Soccer Boy, get. Gotta love this guy. And again, now Zorn is finding his boss fight here at the end of Depths 1. So a very slight advantage for Awaken Smoke. 
Yeah, Kane's eye is kind of interesting. Ah, Depths 1 is where you were hiding. So again, with enough money, Torn is trying to spend it in the store, but... Ah, we got greed once again. So a little bit more money going to come out of this, if not a steam sale. That's Tornus's money laying on the ground right there, so... And yeah, it's range that we miss. Alright, so that uh, one-time use again of that Book of Sin gives uh, Tornus one extra bomb. Ah, again, he is going to take Kane's Eye. I kind of figured he would. Uh, Kane's Eye gives you a 25% chance that's the bloat. Uh, gives you a 25% chance that as you go on to the next floor that you get the full map uh, reveal. Uh, excuse me, uh, that you get the uh, full compass reveal for the map. I said that wrong. That would be the green bloat once again, though. Ew. That's painful. All right, and especially with number one as the random shot effect. I didn't even pay attention to that. Yeah, that's... Ugh. Nothing he could do there. He just finished shooting out bombs, too. That's terrible timing on that. Nothing he could do there for Tornus, so he's back to the start. Again, Awaken has just found his mom's foot fight. Yeah, he had number one for that room. Like, you could not get a worse pull off a $3 bill for that fight. You really can't. And, yep, I was waiting for Vendor to say it, but he beat me to it. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I knew you'd jump in on that one. Oh, that's why $3 bill. Not always the best of things. I, just, I don't know. I like it, but yeah, when you get combos like that, it's really going to mess you up. Bad. Yeah, $3 bill. Why you be a troll? Yeah, we got a decent start, though. Game kit for Tornus this time, so he's going to be able to turn into Pac-Man and have a chance that as he kills enemies, that he's actually going to heal himself for half a heart. All right, regular gray mom's foot, so very, well, I don't want to call it easy. It's probably middle of the road difficulty-wise as far as the mom's uh, foot fights go. Oh, excuse me again. Sorry about that. My allergies are killing me, guys. Anyways, down to three hearts on Awaken Smoke side as well. But again, he will not be able to get back out for any type of item or anything else on this floor for that matter. Uh, he's trapped in this room unless he winds up with a way to teleport out. Yeah, Curse of the Lost adds, uh, I believe it's four to six rooms to the floor. What's up, Journey? How you doing this evening? I believe it's four to six extra rooms on the, uh, on the floor. Curse of the Labyrinth is the XL version where it cramps together, let's say in this case for, uh, Awaken, he would have had Depths 1 and Depths 2 combined together if he had a Curse of the Labyrinth. That's a rough. How you doing? <laughs> Excuse me, yeah. All right, Guardian Angel, so very nice double speed orbital this time for uh, Tornus. Again, you notice that spins about twice the speed of what Meat Boy, or the Cuba Meat, I should say, was spinning around Awaken. And there you see Mom's foot t uh, being taken out, up to three and a half hearts. Uh, Magic 8 Ball is mismarked. That is actually a shot speed increase. Uh, the 1 2 a hearts card will actually double up the amount of hearts that Awaken Smoke has filling his red heart containers. So if he were to get hit here in the womb, that would be a full heart of damage. That would take him down to, uh, wow, I can't do math, two and a half at that point. He could double it up to five full hearts. And again, one way or the other, he's only going to fill up two and a half hearts out of those containers, so it doesn't matter. There we go. He might as well just wait in on it like he did right there. I think that was actually a very good choice on Awaken to Wait. Also, let's get a Judgy, please. He's got seven cents left, so hopefully we get something out of here. How about another half heart? Sure. That's not the worst thing ever. By the way, Awaken Smoke also with a Polaroid. That would get you into the last level if we were to go that far, which again, we don't. Death card, two hearts, much more valuable, I think. And maybe the death card for now and come back for that two hearts. And again, this room really not so hard to take out, but death card will wind up clearing out a room. I was just waiting for Awaken to use it, but he had no need here. That's why that room's easy. God, those poison bombs really mess with uh, Flash. I hate that. There's that Death Guard, so that'll pretty much do a ton of damage. There you see the brain already split after about two or three tiers on it. So it did a ton of damage to everything in the room. Basically a Necronomicon use. So we can get ahead back and make sure he grabs that two heart guard. Ah, uh, they're racing through the womb too, Moon. The Moon Man. Blah, blah, blah. Why can't I talk? Oh, look at that! So this is uh, not quite as interesting as it could be, but that one extra cent on the Judgy Please. And uh, lo and behold, we got the habit on Awakened Smoke's side. Now if he were to get hit, let's say that he used up the charge on his Book of Belial, and he got hit twice in the room, he'd have another full charge on the book. So every time you get hit, half a charge on your space use. 
Again, with the Book of Belial, though, those charges do not stack. So you can only use it, well, you can use it more than once per room, but it doesn't have any effect beyond the first time. Excuse me again. Wow. Well, with no money, let's uh, just say Judgy Kablooey. And again, that actually adds a uh, leap 20% permanent chance that Awakened Smoke's going to get a God Room or Devil Deal. So he's taking an offhand chance that maybe he sees something cool at the end of the floor. All right, by the way, Magneto, or Item Magnet on that side for uh, Tornus on the left. That's going to make any sort of uh, item with uh, magnets, or with magnets in it. Yeah, of course it would. Uh, any item with metal in it attract towards him, so it'll move it towards him on the floor. <laughs> Absolutely, can't fire. There you go. Yeah, Judgy Kablooey. <laughs> That's all we need is a, uh, a an emote of Judgy exploding. <laughs> Judgy, yeah, go boom. <laughs> yep, there's going to be playoffs at the end of the uh, the regular season. Uh, if you go on the uh, the webpage, boiler.org, you can actually see a playoff link that'll let you know basically uh, top six in each conference. And again, that's not taking into account this week's races yet. So again, we update those at the end of each week, and it just makes it a lot easier so we don't have to do it like every hour on the hour, basically. Like, all right, let's completely change around who's in what spot on here. Just makes it a lot easier on us to just do it once at the end of the week. And there's that two hearts being re-picked up by Awakened Smoke. I hate these masks. I have no idea how much I hate these. I think Awakened does too, and he's just going to bomb right on out of here. I would be doing the same thing. He's got plenty of bombs to do it with, so might as well just say nope. I hate to tell you, but in your blood, there's a wonderful thing called iron. So, yeah... Hearts are actually magnetized to, yeah. Yep, Tarnus just flat out reset. It happens. If he wasn't happy with what he had, might as well try. And again, at this point, might as well try to get something really good build wise. Yeah, Miter, I was going to say, I think Awaken might have been worried that that was a challenge room, but free Miter is free. So might as well take it there. And uh, right on over to his boss fight as well, for that matter. But the Miter's going to give Awaken a uh, 50% chance now that any red heart that spawns will actually be a blue soul heart, and therefore much easier to pick up. I was going to say two hearts would be a good use for right now, so that you full heal. Wow, that was close to that dig, but damn. Awaken getting so close to these things. Again, that champion mob up on top does not do two damage down to the womb. It should, in my opinion, but they don't. Again, Sun Card on Tornus' side, at least for now. And again, he'll hold on to that for the time being, and for quite a while, too. But that'll be a full map reveal, full red heart heal, and damage to everything in the room. We're going to be quite happy with this. We got Blastasis yet again, one of the easier boss fights for the womb. And again, on a utero level, that's kind of lucky once again. This is by far one of the easiest fights. I see him as basically like, eh, I'm trying to think of the right term for it. I guess like midnight blue, for lack of a better term, like gray blue. I guess that's the right term. All right, little Gish for Tornus. So this looks like he's got a keeper going at the moment. Little Gish will follow around shooting out uh, tar tears. All right, a little bit of health up and a little bit of health replacement with that uh, blue heart. How about flying and spectral tears for Awakened Smoke? Might as well, the god version of Spirit of the Night. So let's see, Spirit of the Light? Maybe that's what they should have called it. We'll go with Spirit of the Light. How about that for a boom tish Our dead fraud. <laughs> hey, what's up, Gino, by the way? Totally haven't said hi to you. How you doing, man? <laughs> you don't lock yet. I was gonna. I was waiting. Like, there's no chance. He's like, nope, that's a dead fraud. Deal with it. <laughs> so again, awaken on down to the womb too, looking for. Uh, and yes, we do have famine over there. One sec. But awaken on down to the womb too, so he's gonna get uh, mom's uh, heart at the end of this level. And again, uh, looking to uh, finish that off, get a one to nothing lead. We had famine. You see everybody saying it, so I'll join in. <laughs> and yes, that's me doing that. 
But yeah, I was saying hi to Famine just like he does to us, so it's only fair. And we were, we're all we're nice in here, right? So at least we can do is greet him as he shows up. Alright, Sun Card, like I said, map reveal damaged everything in the room and full heal had it been <coughs> excuse me, had it been needed for Tornus. Wow, excuse me. Alright, sorry about that. God, I hate allergies. Anyways, Book of Shadows for uh, Tortoise is going to give him a uh, five se or, excuse me, 12 second invincibility shield anytime he uses that with a, I believe, 6 room recharge. Now my allergies are flat out whooping me right now. I've had my windows open for like two straight days and there's like every bit of allergen in the air right now and I'm allergic to... Oh, well, you pretty much name it, I'm allergic to it. So yeah, that's basically like nasal bacteria finally catching up to me there. <laughs> so I do really apologize, guys. How many more weeks until the playoffs? We're in week 12 right now. Uh, there's 17 regular season weeks, but it takes 18 to get through them uh, because we have the one week off for packs. So uh, we are looking at, let's see, two more months basically until uh, playoffs start. Wait, I do math for crap. Uh, that's six weeks until playoffs start. How the hell did I get two months out of that? About six weeks until playoffs start. Yeah, because, you know, there's like totally three weeks in a month, right? Yeah, Crumps doesn't do math. Don't listen to me. Trust me, bad idea. Uh, <laughs> basically, week, uh, let's call it 19 will be the beginning of the, uh, the playoffs. <laughs> playoffs? Playoffs? Talk about playoffs. Can't even win a game. Playoffs. <laughs> Alright, so Tornus has found his new item room over on the left side. Again, awakened down to just the two hearts here. Don't make that three hearts. Thank you, uh, Soul Heart Spawn. Make that four hearts. Thank you again, Soul Heart Spawn. Maybe wondering why did Awaken just put a bomb down in the center? He meant that. Let's get a real quick judgy, please. Three cents? Give him something. Give him something. Give him not a bomb to your own face, you douche. Oh well, not what he wanted. Two bombs back, or three bombs I can count. And also uh, the boss fight for Awakened Smoke, so looking good there. Also, Rainbow Me. Because we got Rainbow Baby over on the left side for Tornus. Ah, oh, I gotta love that. Random follower tears. So we might even actually see double gist shots coming out from there. I never even thought about that, but he will actually double up the, uh, the follower tears. Yeah, suicidal Judgy, I don't want to live no more. Sometimes I see death knocking at my front door. If anybody gets that reference too, wow, I, I love you. And again, Necronomicon on Tornus aside. Also Monster Manuel, that would spawn one random follower per room. Like it just did there with Demon Baby, but it'll take Book of Shadows back with him. Let me give you a link there, Z. Boy, if only I can spell. There you go. I'm surprised y'all got that, thank you. <laughs> One response, fail fish. Are you kidding? You can't fail fish, Biggie. You don't fail fish, Biggie. No, 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 no. <laughs> In less than five minutes. Oh, yeah. So what? <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, Awaken already about 50% of the way through this mom's uh, hard fight. Wow, I almost said mom's fart. <laughs> you knew what I meant. There's no bean in this one. It's mom's heart is what I meant to say. But again, already ripping on through here, down to just three hearts himself, but it lives will stay out the rest of the time. All he has to do is avoid these extra enemies. He doesn't have to worry about the blood on the ground. And those bombs will pretty well do the trick for him. You notice all the damage they've been rocking for him already. Yep, Soccer Boy doing a darn good job too, staying right in the middle like a good Meat Boy should. Gotta give him credit on that. Again, now here comes the fun part. If Mom dies and those Globins stay alive, Awaken has to kill them. But again, there they actually disappeared like they were supposed to, unlike against Mellow Ace that one day against Princess Diana last week. Enough said. But again, one to nothing lead on Awaken Smoke's side as he has taken out Mom's heart, so very nicely done, sir. 
And again, like you can see, we're actually going to get both of our racers reset pretty quickly there. And I know Awaken's probably tired as hell too, so I'm going to flip it right on over to the ad screen. But uh, that way you don't have to watch them reset over and over. They're going to find the rooms that they want though. Give us two minutes here. I'm going to run ads really quick and uh, let them do the same. Tornus is also a partner, but also please hit up Awaken Smoke. Let me give you a link into both of their channels. Tell them both great race on that one. There's a link for you. Tell them both great race and uh, tell Awaken Smoke good job. Give Tornus good luck for the next race to tie it up. And we'll be right back for round two in about two minutes, guys. Alrighty, we're back, and looks like uh, Tornus actually just found the uh, room that he was looking for, so we are good to go, although uh, that looks like Poppy might be a little bit pissed off still. Uh, that was not a strike. That is no longer a phone. That That's, yeah, <laughs> that's how that works. The phone is alive, don't worry. The phone was re re repaired the next day. Also, Pekka. Oh, God, this one. This gif. Oh, God, this one just gives me nightmares. I don't know what it is, but this one gives me freaking nightmares on that side. Yes. <laughs> Awaken. Oh, I love it. That that gif on Tortoise's side scares the hell out of me, though. I don't know what it is. Anyways, like I was saying, welcome back for round number two, guys. We got Awaken Smoke up one to nothing right now on Tortoise. So again, he's gonna look for a two to nothing win here, and Tortoise is gonna look to tie this up. And there you see the replay going on. You can tell just how much of a delay there is, and why it's a good thing I'm not calling the race for him. But again, we're good to go anytime, by the way, guys, too. So I'm assuming that's why he's checking. Either way, though, we're good to go. So uh, they'll do their own countdown once again. They'll get round number two underway whenever they want to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> he got to see himself. Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> Ravager. <laughs> I love your reaction to that. What the sweet, merciful hell was that? And again, they both got their rider rooms side by side. Again, we'll race through the, uh, uh, excuse me, through the womb too. Whoever kills off mom's hard first is going to get that point added to the bottom of the screen. So same rules apply as last time. Here come the seven banned items. And there you go. Yeah, Poppy's bat should be in rebirth. I don't think Edmund watches the Red Sox. Something tells me he's not a Red Sox fan. And they're off and running. So again, best of luck, guys. And, ugh, well, that's not best of luck. Two resets instantaneously. Eh, Charm of the Vampire, every 13 kills, that would be a half-heart heal on Tornus' side. Eh, Curse of the Labyrinth, no thanks. I may have actually checked that curse room just to see. You never know. Yeah, can't sleep. Peck is gonna eat me. 
Can't sleep. Peck is gonna eat me. Alright, oh, that $3 bill. Yeah, I don't think Awaken wants any part of that after what we saw last time. Curse of the Labyrinth means two locked item rooms, so no thanks. Tornus, by the way, has Isaac's head following me around now. That'll be base damage tiers. Oh, hello, 14, 13 cents. I can't do math. Ew, the Eve's dead bird again. Uh, well, with that much money, I guess you might as well try to find a key to get into a shop. And again, that'll be enough for Tornus to be off and running with this. Book of Shadows for Awakened Smoke. 12 seconds of invincibility. We saw that for Tornus last time. And how about that one bomb kill? Very nicely placed by Tornus. He'll be moving on down with the Cat of Nine Tails. His shot speed increases by 16%. So he's actually, once the shots get on screen, they move faster. And again, that does actually cap you out, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Mom, can you check under my bed for Pekka? <laughs> and again, same thing on Awakened Smoke side. Likewise with the item as well, though he does also get some health up on the way down. You notice he got that halfway to Eternal Heart. That's going to give him a full Red Heart container now as he moves down to the basement too. Oh, how about an early habit on Tornus' side as well? So again, we saw that last race. If you get hit once per room, you get half a charge on your space use item. Not so useful with the D6 at the moment, but let's say the Tornus comes across, oh, I don't know, Book of Revelations. Uh, he's pretty well invincible up until the womb, so that's a really good item. And again, if you ever watch, let's say, Cobalt Streak, as he does his break the game runs with his D6, or uh, Zero Game Plan doing the same thing. Uh, case in point, like, they they want that habit for the D6 instantaneously, as soon as they can get it. So we got Gemini just about down, and we can smoke on into his second boss fight, the Duke of Flies. Keep wanting to call him the Lord of Flies, but that would kind of be a book. Mm, yeah. Not the same. Anyways, a little bit of health there for uh, Tornus. Yeah, he's going to go look for that item room. Now, where do they get these wonderful gifts? It's a good question. I've yet to find out the uh, source on every single one of these or where these guys, are, like, website-wise are going, but we'll, we'll find out at some point. Yeah, D6, D20, Habit. Can we break the game anymore? If you get all those on one floor, oh my god, are you in just the money right there. That's going to be a fun time if you get all those on one floor. So we got the black bean on Tornus' side. If he gets hit, that gives him poison farts. So we were talking about farts before. Now we actually get to mention them for real. Uh, that's actually, again, if Tornus gets hit, poison fart around him. That'll damage everything. Uh, well, not damage, but give a poison uh, damage over time afflicted to everything around him. And again, likewise, waking a little bit of health up. He's going to go look for his item room. And Tornus the first on down to the caves. Instead of donations, the racers actually tell you where they found these gifts. Their donation incentives. Wow, I'm dyslexic as hell. The later and later I cast, and we're on, what, 12 and a half hours right now for me? Yeah, the longer and longer I cast, the more dyslexic I get, so fair warning on that. <laughs> Good night, me <laughs> Metal. Jesus. Good night, Gambit. Let me try that again. Have a go, dude. <laughs> Quackums. <laughs> Sorry to do it to you. And welcome back. Alright, so item rooms on both sides. Again, no key for Tornus, though, so he's either gonna have to, and there's no other rooms to go to, so he's gonna go right on back to that boss fight. Bloody Lust on Awakened Smoke side. So as he kills enemies, uh, up to six per room. That'll give him a little bit of damage up per enemy that he kills. And again, that'll reset at the end of every single room. Uh, but it caps out at 3.2 damage. Uh, again, six enemies per uh, per room will do that to you total. 
Tremazoo. Let's see, we got Bob's Rotten Head, one time thrown poison bomb. Torn is going to take that with him. That can actually be very, very effective. Uh, let's see, where's he going to head with this? No pun intended. Bob's Rotten Head, where's he going to head? Eh, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, teleport remote. We've seen that be very useful. Will Tornus take that? He's considering it. Uh, nope. Gonna keep the uh, poison bomb. I think a lot of our racers would have taken that teleporting fun, but yeah, like I said, not everybody's into it, and that poison bomb is actually very, very useful. And again, if you get hit eh, twice in a room, you can get another one of them out of there. So that could actually be really useful against, like, Mom's Heart, for example. Yeah, let's see, about five more bombs at least for free with the remote detonator. And yeah, it looks like Torn is going to keep the poison bomb with him. But again, no matter what, even if you put that back, you get the five free bombs out of picking up the remote detonator. So always worth it to at least grab that and move on. And there you saw the black bean enacting as uh, Tornus got hit. You saw that poison fart around him. Oh, how about this? Another item room and boss fight attached for Awakened Smoke here. So he's going to quickly catch up onto the caves too. Tornus with a store, no key to get into it though, so moot point there. Not enough money to worry about buying anything anyways. Let's see, we got the uh, Magneto once again, so any type of item with metal in it's going to drop closer towards Awakened Smoke, which means, eh, not the room you want to go to. That one will definitely also work. And into his boss fight, he's going to get peep here. Is it like a Rambo bandana? Yeah, I think that's basically supposed to be the uh, uh, the reference with Blood Rage. It's supposed to be that it's like a Rambo bandana up on your head. Alright, so now with another key, it looks like... Yeah, might as well try to get him for free if you come with bombs, but nope, gonna head back in the library for Tornus. Oh, like I said, that Book of Revelations, he's now, technically speaking, invincible for a few floors. Uh-oh. Habit plus Book of Revelations. Again, remember, you get one soul heart off of the hat or off of the, excuse me, off of the Book of Revelations. Get hit twice per room, you lose that full heart, right? But you have a full charge on the Book of Revelations again. Just like that. So now you notice with those poison farts as well, Tornus doesn't care. He's going to face plan everything. So that's a heck of a combination. Again, he can't really do that in this room, and I think the game knew that by the last room somehow. I swear it does. But Awaken going to move on down to his caves too. So again, same floor. Tornus looking at the end of his, though. That's a Merlin. How you doing? Oh, God, those jokes. I know, I'm sorry. And again, he can't really apply poison damage here to uh, Pestilence, so no real need for Tornus to actually go up and face plant him. Might as well get that full charge out of the book and try to gain an extra heart in the process. Yep, Cuban Meat's going to wind up making this even better for him after he takes out Pestilence, too. So Lust just about dead for Awakened Smoke. Eh, just one random pill. You can see the heart moving on towards him. A little bit of range up off of that. What's up, boss? How you doing? Oh, let's see those no shovels. Tortoise has no way to reroll that. Doesn't want spectral tears on the left side. Had nothing to do there that he could do, I should say, with the shovel on the right. So again, let's see those no shovels. Every six rooms, that shovel would allow you way down onto the next floor. 
Again, for the race situation, eh, kinda overpowered, so he said no thanks to that one. for Tornus is fun to watch. All he has to do is face plant everything and just, here's some poison damage. Boom. Here's some more. Boom. Here's some more. Boom. Yeah, the habit plus the shovel means basically, I don't feel like being on this floor anymore. Get hit twice. Next floor. Yeah, that would be kind of done really fast. I'd say no to that every time, obviously. All right, more pills and a bloody penny for Awakened Smoke. Ouch, pills are bad trip, which actually turn into full health a little bit later on if you happen to be down to just one heart. And Awakened Finding is boss fight. No item room again, though, yet. Yeah, once again, Fistula on Awakened side, so we've seen this before. This is the champion version, though, so this will wind up spitting out bombs at the very end as you get this down uh, split up as far as it goes. Actually, I'm really surprised Tornus isn't just face planting everything. Now, Tornus is at by a floor at the moment. We can just about, theoretically at least, to move down onto his uh, depths, but not a guarantee. To a heart's basically at this point beyond a full heal. Uh, pretty fly. We'll actually give uh, Wake and Smoke one orbital floating around. He's thinking about keeping the bloody penny or the tick. He's going to keep the bloody penny. Chance that if he picks up coins that he gets hearts to spawn. And again, how about this? Possibly a XL floor as we got a loading screen error on Awakened side. So that can make things kind of interesting. Rebirth won't be out till next year anyways, guys. Do 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 anytime now loading screen. Again, at this point, we're probably getting a regular floor on Awakened Smoke side. Ah, when this happens, hit no. When it tells you the flash crash, just be like, don't care. And lo and behold, your uh, loading screen will pop up almost every single time, almost right after that. <laughs> These gifts this year, you guys gotta love it, don't you? What's up, Psycho? How you doing? Wow, or it could just freeze there again. Do, 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 Yep. <laughs> At least we know where that one came from. <laughs> I'm doing really good, thank you. Again, we got War on the left side for Tornus, and again, he's using up that Chariot card right now. There we go, possibly. Come on. Again, he saw that unicorn horn attached to uh, Tornus' head. Oh, really, dude? Really, Flash? You're gonna do this? All right, one cube of me floating around as an orbital now for Tornus, and a god room for that matter, in which we got some damage up with Blood of the Martyr. Very nice find. Do 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 do. Anytime now, Flash. No, really, anytime now. We just want to keep racing on the right side. Aha! Wait for it. 
Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't you do it again? Okay, good. Hell ha! Oof, that sucks. Curse of Darkness, so no mini-map after all that for Awakened Smoke. And he's finally into his depths one. Huzzah, Flash, you suck. Yeah, Flash is a finicky bitch sometimes. It's just like, oh, hey, you want a loading screen? Sure, look at this. Oh, there's nothing on there? <laughs> Deal with it. Sit there for another minute. Finicky mistress, that Flash. It never has yet. I've not seen it crash on anybody. If you're not trying to, uh, like, actively break the game, you're not going to crash it most times. But at that point, like I said, Flash sucks, so we all deal with it. You never get stuck in a loop. That's the thing. If it loops like that, it's flash loading screens. It's part of the rules. Nothing too special. It's going to happen to everybody, though. So again, both in Curse of Darkness, this makes it very hard for me to tell you what we're looking at on their floors. But Torn on Depths 2 right now. Again, Awaken on Depths 1, so still hanging back a little bit. So there's an item room finally showed up. Last one, the Torrance is going to get on this entire run. So we'll find out what he gets for this last one here in a second. You know, we can just finish it off Envy yet again, splitting up over and over. This fight sucks. First things first, how about a store for uh, Tornus? Going to pick up one extra key to get back in. And also the battery, so quicker charge now on his space use items. My goodness, this could really play interesting for him. Also going to take the peeper, so that's going to give him that eyeball floating around doing damage, just like uh, Peep has, or uh, uh, the bloat for that matter. Nope, your followers don't get affected by damage up. Alright, so turn us on into his mom's foot fight. Again, regular gray mom, nothing too strange about this. Gonna get normal level enemy spawns out of here. Again, she'll hit you for one full heart of damage, everything else only half a heart. So that invincibility thing kind of out the window from here on out for Tornus. He's about half invincible. But again, not quite the same anymore as you start getting hit for one full heart of damage from here on out. So now he has to play it a lot safer. Guys, wiki page will answer all your questions. All right, awaken on into his first steps fight, or boss fight, I should say. And we got Loki, so let's see those Mr. Cools. Yeah, he basically essentially has a wafer, exactly. Tornus essentially has a wafer going on right now. And it took two items to get there, but uh, he's essentially got the wafer because he really only takes half damage. Everything, again, still hits him for a full heart. Get hit twice, you get that full charge on the book, so you get a heart back. So if you think about it, half damage. Basically what it amounts to.
Ooh, we can smoke down on the right side. Ouch. So he's all the way back to the beginning. And again, that leaves a huge advantage on Tornus' side on the left. Excuse me again. Sorry about that. There again is that uh, Book of Revelations use. Might as well pop that right before the, uh, the room finishes out and then get that one of six charges there. <laughs> Muted. <laughs> What's up, Crow Magnum? How you doing? Good to see you tonight. So again, finding that uh, boss fight already. Awaken Smoke will go back and find his uh, item room before he worries about anything. And then one last champion mob there for uh, Tornus. Got taken out. One bomb, one key. He's thinking about... Eh, eh, that library looks kind of tempting, but with what he's got, I'd keep that book of rev, honestly. Now he's going to get himself yet another horseman fight on this floor. Because he has used that Book of Revelation, so guaranteed horseman fight here. Ugh, reset on Awakened side. Yeah, holy water, not happening. Don't be bad. Oh, it's Champion Death. That's kind of bad. Not the worst thing, but that's still kind of bad. And that internal compass, though, I'm telling you, he's got it. He's working it good. All right, Cotter, have yourself a good night. Take care and see you tomorrow, hopefully. And again, uh, for those wondering, when, well, today later, technically, sorry. Again, I've, I've been casting for 13 hours, so it doesn't seem like, yes, tomorrow, whatever, today. You know what I mean? Uh, but, let's see, when do we start tomorrow? That's what I'm looking for. Duh, 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Wow, no kidding. 8 p.m. Eastern through 2 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. Ooh, how about that Pact and Sister Maggie on Tornus's last devil deal? Wow. Oh, and he's going to pass on both. Wow. I, wow. I can't believe he didn't take the pack there. He would have replaced the two uh, red hearts that he spent with blue soul hearts. So I would have considered that. I was going to say, now watch that teleport him directly in. All right, he is going to go back and check that library. Might as well at this point. Good morning, Amber. Yeah, Fetus into Holy Water. Nah. By the way, Dr. Fetus, one of the banned items, showed up for Awaken. By the way, now he's got Polyphemus, as you see, but a whole different story there. But as you saw back a little ways, Dr. Fetus showed up. That would have turned all of Awaken Smoke's tears into uh, bombs that he would have shot out instead. So slightly overpowered, especially in the situation of the races. <laughs> Muted. Awesome, we started two out. Oh, wait, no, we don't. It's just like un yeah, it like unmodded you. What the hell? Well, now that I've checked that, let's see if that works. We'll get this working for you, muted. I swear to God, we'll get this thing working. <laughs> Somehow, we'll find a way. All right, new item room. No key for it yet for Awakened Smoke. Again, with that, uh, we've seen it before. Polyphemus, by the way, so huge damage in tears on his side. And again, one more floor here for Tornus, possibly, and he's just looking for that mom's heart battle at this point. Because again, in the womb, no stores, no item rooms to find. You're just looking for boss fights. Maybe something like an arcade if you're lucky. Maybe a judge me. Yeah, something of that nature. Yeah, the Twitch mods have been derpy for a long time. That's right, mods. I just called y'all derpy. Yeah. You know what I mean. The moderatorship on Twitch has been acting derpy is what I mean to say. Crypto loves anymore. Oh, deep. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got Gertie Jr. and again a real, real annoying version of it. For that matter, I hate these Gertie Juniors. They slide all over the place. You can stop them with a bomb. So stopping their charge is pretty easy. Just put a bomb down in front of them. They will stop charging at you, but they are still really just a pain in the butt. <laughs> and I'm no, no, no. I get it. The truth has come out now. The the cuddling meant nothing. <laughs> Glitter Pets is right. You don't want me. <laughs> Anyways, Bob's Curse. You see the poison damage on the uh, the bombs now for Awaken Smoke. And again, bombing on through. Over to his uh, boss fight here on the other side of his seeker room. 
And again, it'll wind up with a cube of meat as we see Pestilence once again. So all those horsemen, so many cubes of meat. We see the three-piece also on Thornus' side now that I forgot to mention. So Soccer Boy making yet another appearance. <laughs> Coffee. Welcome back. How you doing? Oh, Soccer Boy, why do you play soccer so? This is why Soccer Boy is known as Soccer Boy, guys. Don't try going into Seeker Rooms with Soccer Boy following you. He kicks your bombs. Yeah. So, Tortoise just found that out. That, well, he knew that, but he just saw that happen the hard way there. <laughs> and I'm doing really good coffee. Thank you, thank you. We've had a lot of really good races tonight. And the last one here, and it looks like Tortoise might be on the verge of even in the sub before sending game three. So, all sorts of good stuff been happening. Yeah, bended like Beck and Meat Boy. You got this thing. You got this thing. Yet another library. Tornus not going to bother with this one, though. Right, let's come back. Have yourself a good night. I know. Tornus has had like four libraries on this run. It's insane. All right. A bunch of money doesn't really mean anything to him. Again, still just looking for that boss fight and really nothing else. Americans aren't leaving. There's an American hosting. By the way, there's also an American racing. So just on that, you're outnumbered. Just saying. That's a bad memo. How you doing, dude? All right, so Tornus has finally come across that uh, boss fight here, so he'll be looking at Mom's heart momentarily. Again, plenty of hearts. He's looking at, let's see, seven and a half right now. He's got the strength card, which will give him plus one to all stats, including his red hearts. Going to pop another Book of Revelations charge right there, so Tornus sitting kind of pretty at the moment, looking even this up. And then, well, oh dear. <laughs> and there you see Soccer Boy once again living up to his moniker. I got it. I I really hate Soccer Boy. If you turn him into four piece Meat Boy, that thing is well worth it. Three piece, I question. I really question it, uh, taking three piece if you don't know for sure that you're gonna have a good chance at a fourth. That's a funky. How you doing? No kidding, dude. How you been, MMO? And awesome, man. Good to see you, dude. All right, so over the halfway mark here for uh, Tornus looks like, like I said, might be even this up one and one, and you have to take really any true damage. You notice, again, about really, a, we'll call it the ineffective wafer, although much more effective with his poison farts. Notice all those, uh, well, the black bean made his poison farts, but you notice all the poison damage afflicted there to Mom's heart? All you really need, that habit, I just really carried Tornus the entire time. We're tied up in one, ladies and gentlemen, yet another game three this evening. Gotta love this. So let me update that. And boom, and just like you see, we are tied at one, like I said. So great race right there, guys. Let me give you a link into both of their channels. Tell them both that to, uh, obviously, to their chats. And we are even at one, like I said. So give us about two minutes here. We're going to get both of them reset onto the uh, the basement one once more. We'll find the uh, rooms that they want, just like, actually, I think Awakened Smoke actually just found, amazingly enough. You lucky bastard. But we'll run a couple minutes ads. We'll be right back on the other side. We'll get round number three underway, and we'll find out who wins this last race of the night. So, again, be right back, guys. Check out that split link at catguard.net, and me, Tornus, and Awakened Smoke while I'm gone. I'll be right back with you.
Alrighty, we're back. The bot may be taking a little bit of a nap, but we're back. <laughs> so on that note, let me flip this back on over again. We got round number three just about to start up here between Tornus on the left side, who just won round number two, and Awaken Smoke on the uh, the right side, who again won round number one. So this is the all deciding match number three. Whoever beats Mom's Heart first is going to be your winner here tonight. And again, Tornus needs this one to uh, kind of keep himself in any type of contention in the uh, in the excuse me the AFC West. And kind of likewise, Awaken Smoke can move himself a lot closer to playoff contention in the uh, the AFC East if he can get this win here. So, big match for both of them. Good luck to you guys both. They'll be doing their own countdown. There you see the uh, banned items once again in case anybody's curious about that. And let me also get you a split link hopefully into both of their channels. There we go. So it doesn't like chat ads, but it will do that one. That's weird. Either way, though, like I said, there's a link into both of their channels. Hit up both Tortoise and Awaken Smoke if you guys would. And tell them both good luck for this race. Hang out in there and, uh, like I said, get to know the racers. They're all really, really awesome people. Looks like we're just about to get started there. So, again, best of luck, guys. And we'll see who the winner is here. So the oh-so-pivotal round number three. There we go. We are off and running. Ooh, good start. So we got a little chubby for Tortoise. So that, as he fires, will... You'll see it right there, actually go out chomping everything in that same path that it's going to be fired along. So that's a great starting follower right there on Tornus' side. I do love that item. I would say what it is with that sentence, but you know full well you'd misquote me, so not going there. <laughs> Once again, the beauty of Isaac, you get to say a lot of things that are just a little bit odd otherwise. Let's see, one pill for Awakened Smoke, going to get him a little bit of speed increase. And he'll head on into this curse room. Ooh, no such luck. About that seeker room. Eh, three cents could be worse. No, RK9 isn't even on. Or R9K, you know what I mean. <laughs> and let the misquoting commence. <laughs> Anyways, there's that item room for uh for awakened smoke. As you see, uh Tortoise moved on down with the uh excuse me, with stem cells, gave him shot speed increase and one health up. So his shots move faster on screen. Hey, speaking of the wafer. Yeah, we can smoke gonna reset it though. That would have been half damage on everything. So if you got down to the womb and uh, took a hit for something that normally would have hit you for one heart, or uh, let's say a champion mob, same thing would only hit for half a heart of damage. Oh, we allowed the toothpicks. It's just we let them be rerolled actually. So basically, they're kind of crappy items. We let the racers reroll them if they come across them. We've only had uh, CDR Bistro actually take them in a uh, like legitimately take them in a race fashion this year. Uh, Morag picked him up last night, but it wasn't to actually take him. It was just like a, ah, screw this, I'm resetting moment. And let's see, Isaac's head now following around Awakened Smoke. That'll put out base damage tiers. So nothing too crazy there. Speaking of damage, though, as about the uh, Horror of Babylon effect there with the Empress card for Awake, or excuse me, for Tornus on the left side. And he's going to do a lot more damage to Gemini here. Again, you see, nice job lining up Little Chubby. Ooh, that time not so much, though. Rocks will block Little Chubby. Again, misquote the hell out of me. Feel free. Uh, again, we got Bob's Curse on uh, Wake and Smoke's side. That'll add poison damage onto all bombs, including enemies, but those don't affect anything. Ooh, nice, Muted. That's a hell of a combination. <laughs> Invincibility. All right, so let's see a little bit more health up there on uh, Tornus' side, including one Soul Heart for him. And he still has no key, so let's try this one other room in hopes of getting a key for that item. Ooh, speaking of, how about a golden key? Infinite keys for the floor, exactly what he needed. So, might as well check. Nothing real special in... Ooh, except for that damage he just took in the, uh, the store. And again, Tornus will be back on over to that item room. Awaken Smoke, though, on down after a couple of pills. On down to his, uh, excuse me, on down to his basement, too. Curse of Darkness won't be able to see the map. Needs one key to get into that item room. We got a well-placed bomb there. Well, speaking of keys, how about an infinite amount for him with a golden key? Oh... Tornus is going to be very happy he got that item. So Magic Mushroom plus one to all stats on his side. And awaken into his item room. Mom's Brawl once again will freeze enemies in place for, uh, I think, about six, uh, seven seconds. I can't do math. is finding his boss fight here on Caves 1. You know, those Curse of Darknesses are just everywhere, it seems. <laughs> wow, all those bombs. Holy crap. Ten bombs now on Awakened side. Might as well. 
Oh, we'll hit 12, 12, that will hit 1,200 easily. Like, no question on my side. I say we will. All right, uh, turn us again on into that Case 1 boss fight, fighting Fistula here. And again, little Shelby doing most of the work for him. How's the man about? How you doing? Ooh, wait for Booker, Rev, and Habit. Winning! That's nice, Sarah. That's a winning combination right there. And there you see Steven getting torn to shreds by those two well-placed bombs and the freeze effect of Mom's Bra by Awaken Smoke. He'll be on down to his case one. We got Pageant Boy. Let's see those yes crowns. Yeah, that's in Otaku's chat add on. But a little bit of money for uh, Tornus. He'll be on down to Caves 2. One full floor advantage on the left side. Alright, a little bit more health. That'll replace the health that Tornus spent getting into that room and back out. But immediately on over to his newest item room here in Caves 2. Ooh, we got Platinum God today. Congrats, Annabeth. I've still yet to legitimately get that. I have yet to get a Depths No Hit Run completed. That's the only thing holding me back. So I've yet to uh, legitimately get that myself. Which is kind of sad, but I'll get it someday. What's up, Deathcap? How you doing? I almost read that as Deathcap for Cutie, and then I saw the rest of that did not say Cutie. So, <laughs> just about called you by a band name by mistake. How you doing, Deathcap? And those curse rooms just returning the health that's being spent to get in. Nothing too special with them yet. Alright, that one key for Tornus will be heading on back for that item. Alright, once again the peeper showing up so that eyeball will be floating around the room doing damage to anything it makes contact with. Yet again, item room and boss fight connected for Awakened Smoke. He'll get some Lunker Hat that'll let him know if he comes across any secret or super secret rooms by noise and showing on your mini-map. And again, right into that boss fight for uh, Green Peep, which again, you see those well-placed bombs. He's just going to drop some poison damage and bomb damage for that matter all across this fight. Now that's how to get through a, a peep fight very quickly. <laughs> My goodness, that's probably the quickest peep fight we've seen this year. How about a little damage up on his tears with Pentagram as well? And a God Room for that matter. Ooh, in which we got the Halo. More damage up, plus one to all stats except for range to Awaken Smoke's build. That just got a heck of a lot more beefy on Awaken's side. So his tears are now, as you see, going to be red. Very nice build going here. We got two of spades doubling up, or will double up, I should say, the amount of keys that Tornus is holding on to. He's got one right now, which makes that not worth using. Because, again, if you have no keys, you get two free keys out of those two of spades or two of clubs in the case of bombs. So always wait until you're out. If you're down to just one, you get better effect by using it when you have none left. All right, new store here for uh, Tornus. And, again, lack of greed here today. So he's going to use up now. You see he used up that key. Or the uh, two of uh, spades, rather. I'm sorry, to double up the... Uh, well, not double up, but give him two keys where he had zero. What's up, Jointless? How you doing tonight? Wow, I just looked over. I've been casting for 13 hours, 13 minutes, and 13 seconds. Oh my god. That was creepy timing. Um, That's going to give me nightmares now. Okay. Uh, Baker's Dozen, Baker's Dozen, Baker's Dozen. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, 1195. I told you we're going to easily hit uh, 1200 tonight. Easily. Look at that damage tick off here. So again, uh, Waking Smoke going to wind up with one blue soul heart out of this. Also has his item room here for Caves 2. Oh, and how about five cents? Oh my god, how about the sad onion? That build just got even better. Didn't even have to get his item room there, and Awaken just basically doubled up his fire rate. Oh my god. That's going to be nice. <laughs> Christina, give me your caps. And again, and uh, Tortoise also finding his boss fight here for Caves 2. So, wow. he's uh, He might be kind of sweating this one a little bit if he knows what uh, Waking Smoke's working with on his build. There are a lot of tears, and they're doing a lot of damage each time on his side. And again, Tornus on into his uh, Gertie fight. Again, one thing that he's got working for him is that little chubby. You see all the damage it's going to do. That is a stationary boss and very easy to hit with lining up little chubby. Look at all that damage getting shown off. Chewed off. Boy, I can't talk. And there we go. We can finally get him through that room. 
We've got Magic 8 Ball again, Mismarked Item for Tornus. You get one card and Shot Speed Increase. Also, the Miter in that god room. 50% chance now that instead of Red Hearts, a Blue Heart will spawn in its place. So Tornus will find it a lot easier to pick up health throughout this run. Yeah, nothing good in that Curse Room. Those have not been paying off tonight. And the amazing thing, Little Chubby, not piercing damage. He'll go through those knights. Won't actually hit him from the front, though. How weird is that? Oh, hi, Spaz. I'm sorry, am I blocking your seat over there? I'm sorry. There you go. I'm sorry. You stand me out. All right, Tortoise on finding his second to last item room here. And again, Awaken Smoke finding that boss fight for Caves 2. Says hi. All right, wire code hanger on Awaken Smoke side. That'll give him another fire rate increase, which I don't think he can actually get any more fire rate. But beside the point, that should up his tier rate. Should that uh, be a normal pickup of the item? You're coming up a storm, dude. Jeez. be able to hear him. That's how loud he is. Jeez Louise, are you happy? What's up with you, cat? So the cat's watching the race now. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? You love Game 3s. By the way, Awaken Smoke also with the Sun card right now, which is that 3 uh, use card again. Full heal of Red Hearts, that is. Uh, full map reveal and damage to everything in the room. Celtic Cross gives you a 33% chance that if you get hit, that you get a 5 second damage shield. one of those blue hearts spawning, so thank you very much to the Miter. Oops, somebody already beat me to that. Why did I type split anyways? That wasn't the right link for me. It works well because there's a link into both Awakened Smoke and Tornus's channel side by side, but not the one I meant to hit. Either I'm an idiot, sorry. But it happens. It happens. Again, Awakened finding his boss fight here on Depths 1. So now the question becomes, do you take that slight advantage of skipping over your item room yet again to fight that boss? And I think he's going to do that for a time advantage. All right, so there's that Celtic cross like we were talking about. And again, Awaken Freeze and War in place. Look at that damage. Oh my goodness, that ticking damage. Wow. So huge damage on those tiers. War already off his horse. That'll be one cube of meat floating around for a second orbital. Awaken also grin and crab. Oh, never mind. Also had a god room. Nothing good in it, though. The Holy Bible. So let's see those no Bibles showing up. And again, that's because on uh, the Bible, that'll one-hit kill both Mom's foot and Mom's heart, which makes those go way too fast for that fight. And uh, again, it, it wouldn't really be that big of a challenge for Awaken Smoke with those tears, but really uh, takes a lot of time off of those races, so not really so fair. <laughs> no Pekka. Wait a minute. There's all those no Bibles. Again, one of the uh, subscriber-only emotes here, and those are only here for the remainder of uh, Boilers, so we got about three months left on them, give or take. I'm doing that math right? Just shy of three months, basically. Two and a half. So if you want to use them, use them soon. <laughs> no butts. Wait a minute. <laughs> we we got to save that one for when RTC gets us up, bud. All right, so again, the Sun card would not give the map reveal on this floor that Awaken Smoke's on. Because again, with that Curse of Darkness, that's going to overwrite anything you have, whether that be treasure map, uh, compass, anything of that nature. Sun card, world card, doesn't matter. Curse of Darkness overwrites all of them. So a little bit of range up as Monstro 2 dies, and a Devil... <laughs> and a Devil Deal. Yeah, Tornus made a beeline for Brimstone. Not even a question there. Two hearts spent. Brimstone once again on Tornus' side, and another immediate item room with 10 bombs in it. So he's moving right on along in his steps too as well, and again, just looking for his boss fight. But ooh, just missed on the timing there. 
So close. 1197. So close. I love Brimstone. It took me a while to get used to it, though, and uh, Lethal Frag was even the same way. I had to talk him into it at first. I had to talk him into taking the item. And it was one of those, like, it does take a lot of getting used to. I'll be the first to admit, I died probably first ten times I took it. I was bad. And then all of a sudden, you just kind of get the hang of it. Wow, speaking of that, how about immediate boss room find here on Tornus' side? So he's going to have his mom's foot, or, yeah, mom's foot fight immediately here. So, wow, that was quick. So very, very, like... You can't get any shorter on a uh, Depths 2 floor than that. I mean, he went straight on to that boss fight after the item room. But again, already more than halfway through this Mom's Foot fight. Again, that, uh, that Brimstone working some wonders for him for that matter. He's got a real quick charge time on that too for some really phenomenal damage. Alright, Gluttony Mini Boss for Awakened Smoke. And again, at this point, he may have to hope for an XL floor. Ooh, how about even quicker charge time on Brimstone for Tornus as he's got the wire coat hanger. Same thing that Awaken Smoke does. Ooh, Curse of Darkness for Tornus, though, again. So no mini-map here on this womb. And again, just looking for a boss fight. There are no item rooms, no stores in the womb once again. And again, one random pill. Tornus is going to hang on to that for a moment or two here. One more. Prepare the hype. Prepare the 1200 hype. Soon. Soon. Ooh, torn us down to one heart. Ooh, make that nun actually. Ouch, that brimstone deal cost him heavily there. Ouch, that's gonna hurt all the way back to the start. Give it a link here, Voltage. There you go. That guy got down another link. I'll get you into both uh, Tornus and Awaken Smoke's channel side by side. And again, Awaken on into his mom's foot fight. Gonna drop a ton of bombs around her cankle here. I like this move again. He's been using his bombs very nicely against these bosses. And again, that freeze effect almost lasting the entirety of this fight. Wow, look at that. Blue Mom just getting melted here by Awaken Smoke. Couple more hits. Oh, he almost had her. There we go. Squeezy, couple more soul hearts. A little bit of what would be fire rate increase. Smoke is capped out at the moment, though, so none of that. But a little bit more health up. Full on heal. And he's going to be on down to the womb. So let's see. With that sun card, he will hang on to that for the womb, too, now, as he just gets a regular one. I love, I seriously, I love what he's doing with those bombs. Speaking of that, Torn is also getting to show one of the glitches that we do allow here in the league, and that is using Kamikaze as such. He's holding onto the wall, basically hugging the wall, and whenever you use Kamikaze like that, you do not take damage unless you happen to open up a doorway. And there you see what the Sun card will do. Torn is using his right now to make his uh, floor go just slightly faster. That's a Vladimir, how are you doing? And yep, just the end of about, we've done 13 and a half hours of boiler today so far. So again, we can get a bomb out of that dead end room, and again, just looking for a boss fight himself now. It's, it's kind of what it is, Arx. She thinks it's God talking to her, but if you look really closely at the intro, you'll see a few horns on a certain shadow running behind her at one point. Uh, so it's it's kind of a giveaway that it's not really so much God talking to her. You'll see some horns on the shadow. It's real subtle, but you'll notice the horns. Oh, how about the mark for, well, basically for free? Gonna wind up using up the heart that, uh, the soul heart that he gets out of it, but Tornus with some damage up for free on his basement too here. Yep, last one. Let me give you a link here onto uh, Boiler.org, which is the main website for the league. And you can see the entire schedule on the uh, front page, lower right side.
Yeah, let's see. Yum Heart now on Tornus Society is going to leave that behind. No question for Kamikaze, but that would heal you from one full red heart of uh, anything that's missing out of yours. Oh, there's a ton of theories about Isaac. We had Edmund on call, and he's even like, yeah, I'm never going to flat out say what it is, but there's one guy that was really, really close with his breakdown of it. And uh, I'm sure somebody's got the link, but there was somebody who was like almost spot on and said, and about as close as you're going to get to having that fully explained correctly. All right, so still no key for Tornus, so he can't get into that item room yet. How about more money, a dime spawning in the ran in mid uh, middle of the room randomly? I love that sound when you pick those up. So again, there was those crowns in. No crown, no crown. Yes, crown. Yes, crown. <laughs> That's what I love. It's always back and forth. But again, Pageant Boy always brings out the best or the worst in people's love or hatred of that. <laughs> So again, now with that key, um, let's see, Torn is going to grab Monstro's Tooth. Not so special, that'll bring down Monstro out of the sky to crush damage enemies. That depends on where you get Patch and Boy. Sometimes there's no need for the money out of it. Like, even right now, like, unless Tornus winds up with, like, money equals power, he's never going to spend those 45 cents on this run. Pretty much not going to happen. Right, but still yet another room cleared out. Nothing here attached yet. We can have a long room here, or a long uh, level here, I should say. So there's that freeze effect once again on Mom's Bra. This is going to have to break off over to the left-hand side again once Awaken gets done with this room. Yeah, one more key. Might as well in case you get a locked chest. Aha, there's that boss fight finally. And like I said, breaking off over to the left side. So, oh my god, the amount of envies. Yeah, that's just super envy. Dude, screw you, dude. By the way, that showed the wrong picture of many bosses there. That was kind of weird. Either way, though, Tornus down again. So we can get to move on into his uh, Womb 1 boss fight. And gonna get Champion Death for the second time tonight. Actually, I think it was Tornus that got him last time, now that I think that through. Hey, good morning, Adam. How you doing today? What's up, zombie? Good to see you, too. So welcome into what, uh, looking like we might be winding down towards the end of this one here. We've had about 13 and a half hours of boiler racing so far today. But we're in the, uh, the final of the uh, best of three here between Tornus and Awaken Smoke. And again, Awaken won the first match, Tornus won the second, and we're looking to finish this one off here. Right now, we got Awaken Smoke well in the lead. Uh, he's in the uh, Womb 1 fighting his boss fight, which is Champion Death, as you see. I think I call him War, actually. Again, my brain's not really totally here. Again, Tornus just reset again, though, so he's all the way back on Basement 1. He just ate a death, so he's looking for a good start here. How's so Sushi? How you doing? You have too close to the door, basically. Like, if you're too close to a door, the glitch won't work because you'll open up a door. Alright, so another cube of meat. That'll be the second for Awakened Smoke. Yet another god room. And how about another orbital? So three orbitals now, all of which move at double speed on Awakened side. So he will take that on down to his womb, too. He's got that sun card. He's hoping for no curse. Well, okay, curse of the loss could have been worse. Eh, eeny meeny, which way do you try? Good thing you checked that. We're only three rooms to clear, and we'll see Mom's heart. Wow. Aw, oh, 1,200. Yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, that one doesn't count. <laughs> What's up, Eater? How you doing? Amazingly, that's not how the bot works. It actually works based off of if that's the first thing that you said in the channel, it assumes, well, not like the first thing, like given off of a certain amount of time, it assumes that you're a spam bot, though. 
So that's what happened there. So theoretically, it should have been okay, but uh, whatever. Either way, Awaken Smoke on into his mom's hard fight. And again, you see he froze her down in place. So he's going to melt her right now and try to keep any of those enemy spawns from happening as he is out of bombs here. There's legit 1,200. Now we're there. Anyways, we got the night spawn. Awaken just got about 50% of mom's heart dead right there. That is insane damage. And we got Guardian Angel on Tornus' side. So that same double speed orbital now. And he did pick up two shot in the first floor, so Tough Love adds uh, random teeth coming out that'll do a it's close to three times damage multiplier. Even as me out to see a woke for that, like, I just got my 1200. Excellent. Feed me. It's just uh, something that uh, Otaku had to add in so that the bot wasn't kept out of R9K mode. Always a little more damage here. We'll get uh, Chubb off of the screen, and then as soon as it lives, comes down a little bit more damage. Awaken will keep that out the rest of the fight here. And then he's going to be able to direct damage her, and hopefully, well, hopefully for him, I should say. Never phrase that right. We'll uh, be able to finish this off pretty quick. There's that chunking of damage disappearing off of her. That is some great tears on his side. And again, for not having a whole lot of, like, wow, that's, you know, Max's head, some to that effect. He's got a heck of a lot of damage on those tears. Again, doing his work, still at four hearts here, and looking pretty safe on his side. And just a little bit more, there you go. Waking Smoke going to be your two to one victor here tonight. So again, that helps Vendorth just slightly in the AFC West as well. So just a little bit closer for Vendorth to glitch in a division as well. But there you see the uh, the glass raise, and yeah, 